a block on a frictionless incline. A small block has constant acceleration as it slides down a frictionless incline. The block is released from rest at the top of the incline and its speed after it has traveled 6.8 meters to the bottom of the incline is 3.8 meters per second. What is the speed of the block when it is 3.4 meters from the top of the incline? So it is released from rest, therefore it has an initial velocity which is uh, 0 meters per second and its velocity after time t, because it has a constant acceleration motion, will be a t. Uh, so that we're going to have the rate of change of velocity dv dt is equal to a which is a constant of this motion constant acceleration motion now the distance we travel delta x will be the integral from 0 to t uh, b of t dt which is the integral from 0 to t a t dt which is 1 over 2 a t squared. So that's the distance we travel. Now we know that 1 over 2 a t squared, the distance it travels uh, to the bottom of the incline is 6.80 meters and uh, the speed that it has acquired is basically a t which is equal to 3.80 meters per second. So if we take the ratio of these two equations, we will obtain uh, a's will cancel, one of the t's will disappear, and we will obtain a t over 2. So t over 2 will give us, um, so t over 2 will be the ratio which will be equal to the ratio 6.8 divided by 3.8. So that means uh, t will be equal to 68 divided by 19 seconds because this 2 will make uh, 3.8, 1.9. Okay, so that's the time of travel. Now, I have acquired a speed of 3.8 meters per second in this time interval in a constant acceleration motion. So the delta V I have is uh, 3.8 and the time interval is T. So this will give me 3.8 times 19 divided by 68 and that will be uh, if I divide the top and bottom with 2 that will be equal to 1.9 times 19 divided by 34 now 9, 19 times 1.9 gives me 36.1 divided by 34 which is roughly 1.06 meters per second square. So what I would like to know is uh, its speed when it is at a distance 3.4 meters from the top of the incline. So uh, the distance I travel delta x will be equal to 1 over 2 a uh, time of uh, travel, the fall time uh, squared. And this is going to be equal to 3.4 meters. So that's 3.4 meters from the top. So this will give me, for the time of uh, fall, um, 2 times 3.4 divided by my uh, acceleration 
divided by 34. This was my acceleration. Uh, and I take the square root. So this gives me a square root of 231.2 divided by um, 36.1 square root and if I evaluate the velocity at this time by calculating acceleration times time of fall acceleration was 36.1 divided by 34 times square root 231.2 divided by 36.1 uh, this gives me a final uh, speed of 2.69 meters per second when I uh, take three significant figures in my final answer okay so <clears throat> We have a block that is uh, sliding down a frictionless incline. Uh, so basically a block is sliding down this incline. So it starts from rest, as you can see here, and it's going to uh, travel a distance of 6.8 meters to the bottom of the incline. So uh, from the top of the incline, uh, to the bottom of the incline, it travels a distance, uh, a total distance of um, 6.8 meters. So this is the final position of the block here. Uh, or we can uh, do it like this. Uh, so at the end, the block has made it all the way down to the bottom of the incline. So here is the block at the end and the distance I travel from the top to the bottom is uh, 6.8 meters. So that's this distance. Six point eight meters and <clears throat> I move this block with constant acceleration. The coefficient of friction is zero. There is no uh, friction on the surface and uh, I want to know its speed when it is uh, halfway so when it is uh, at this position um, halfway in between so this position is going to be 3.4 meters from the top that is halfway Okay, so uh, we started by noting that the initial velocity is zero, so it's released from rest uh, at the top of the incline. Therefore, it moves with constant acceleration, so it has uh, dv dt equals a. So this tells us that uh, it moves a distance one half a t square in time interval t, that is 6.8 meters. In the same time interval, a t is its final speed. 3.8 meters per second so we find the time of travel and acceleration is the change in velocity 3.8 minus 0 divided by t that gives us 36.1 over 34 if you need to report it it is 1.06 meters per second square up to three significant figures and when I move a distance 3.4 meters one half a t fall square um, this is going to give me for t falls square root 231.2 over 36.1 and i evaluate the velocity at that point by multiplying acceleration with the fall time which gives me 2.69 meters per second